India has made history with the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the lunar South Pole region. This is the third lunar mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, and it marks India as the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft on the lunar South Pole. Chandrayaan-3 was launched by Indian Space Research Organization using a powerful rocket called LVM-3-M4. Just 20 minutes after launch, the rocket put Chandrayaan-3 into an orbit around Earth. Over time, Chandrayaan-3 raised its orbit. On August 1st, it left Earth's orbit and headed towards the Moon. By August 5, it entered an orbit around the Moon. It then adjusted its orbit on August 17th before separating the Vikram lander from its propulsion module. Indian Space Research Organization shared a video of this separation on Twitter. Vikram lander took pictures of the Moon's surface, showing famous craters. The lander and rover landed on the Moon on August 23, 2023. Landing on the Moon poses significant challenges due to its uneven surface, variable gravity, and the need for precise control during descent. Out of all the missions that go to the Moon, only about 56% of missions to the Moon are successful. Missions with impactors, which have hard landings, are even less successful, with only about 37% success rate, and missions with landers, which have soft landings, are also less successful, with only about 35% success rate. Landing on the Moon's South Pole is even more difficult than a general landing mission, and there had never been a successful mission to the South Pole before Chandrayaan-3. You must have seen the recent example of Lunar 25, the Russian lander, which was not successful. Chandrayaan-3's success is remarkable because it navigated these challenges. It used data from previous missions, advanced cameras, and sensors to choose a safe landing site and adjust its trajectory. The critical step involved using thrusters to slow down and control the lander's descent while ensuring its correct orientation. This was managed through real-time monitoring and adjustments based on the lander's position and the lunar surface. Chandrayaan 3's accomplishment demonstrates the strides made in space technology and mission execution by Indian Space Research Organization. Shortly after landing, the lander unfolded a ramp, allowing the rover to drive out and explore the lunar environment. The rover is equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, which it will use to study the lunar surface and atmosphere. The lander and rover will have about two weeks, meaning one lunar day, to conduct their experiments. Because the instruments present in Chandrayaan-3 are not made to withstand lunar nights. When it is night on the moon, the temperature drops a lot. The temperature can drop to minus 232 degrees centigrade. They are not designed to survive the chilly lunar night, so they will need to be powered down and protected from the cold. Ever wondered how the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover on the moon's surface, 384 400 kilometers away, send data to Indian Space Research Organization? And it's impressive that the Vikram lander at the moon's south pole stays connected to Indian Space Research Organization IDSN network from such a vast distance, sharing crucial experimental information. India's space agency has its own special network for communicating with spacecraft in deep space. This network is similar to what NASA uses. It helps talk to space missions like Voyager probes and Mars rovers. India's network is known as IDSN. It's quite advanced and located in a small village in Karnataka, India. It was set up in 2008 for the Chandrayaan-1 mission. This network has big dish antennas. The largest one is really tall, like a five-story building, and wide, like 32 meters. There are smaller antennas too, with one being 18 meters wide and the smallest being 11 meters wide. What's cool is that India's network can talk not only to its own spacecraft, but also to other countries' networks. It's like having friends around the world who help when needed. These friends include space agencies like ESA from Europe, Roscosmos from Russia, and NASA. So even if Earth's spin makes direct communication tough, India's network finds a way to make things work by using its friends' networks. Chandrayaan-3, India's lunar mission, 
talks to Indian Space Agency using special antennas. These antennas help Chandrayaan-3 send information to Indian Space Agency and receive commands from them. There are two main communication phases. 1. Journey to the Moon While Chandrayaan-3 is traveling from Earth to the Moon, it talks to Indian Space Research Organization through its antennas. This communication is done through a network of satellites and antennas called the Deep Space Network. 2. Landing on the Moon After Chandrayaan-3 lands on the Moon, it continues to communicate with Indian Space Research Organization using antennas on its lander. These antennas send information like battery levels and location to Indian Space Research Organization. There are different types of antennas. TTC antennas. These antennas act like phones for spacecraft. They send information about the spacecraft's health, like battery status, and receive commands from Indian Space Research Organization. Tracking antennas. These antennas help Indian Space Research Organization know exactly where Chandrayaan-3 is and how fast it's moving. Command antennas. These antennas receive commands from Indian Space Research Organization to make Chandrayaan-3 do specific things like change its direction or speed. Overall, these antennas help Chandrayaan-3 stay in touch with Indian Space Research Organization and share important information throughout its journey to explore the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a major milestone for India's space program. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication of the Indian Space Research Organization team. This mission will help us to better understand the moon and it will pave the way for future lunar exploration. If you liked this video and are interested in space, you can click here to watch the playlist of all my space-related videos. I have made several videos, including time travels, black holes, wormholes. You will find the link to the courses in the description below. Thank you very much.